Hey guys, CDD07 here. I've got a couple really good videos coming up here soon. Uh, don't worry about that. Um, now, I, I wanted to do some circuitry, uh, like making circuits with LEDs and putting them in the long shot and maybe a couple other guns. And uh, I needed a soldering. We have one, but it's quite an old one and it's got really big nibs, so you can't even make a glob, like a glob of solder, like maybe like two or three millimeters small it just gets so big it's ridiculous so uh I, this is actually used to be my granddad's and uh, it's a really nice set it hadn't been used until today we test it out on something that was broken and we tried to fix it but uh, it didn't work uh we sold it the wrong bit but uh it's a gas powered one so you fill it up with butane at the bottom and uh, you basically just twist this part and the butane starts to come out so a little bit did come out then uh, obviously I'm not going to light it, I may do a, a soldering layer, show you all the little bits up closer, like um, as my next video or something, so I'll show you all the parts that come with it, you get this attachment that um, you can use for this thing, which basically if if you need a, if you're using like heat shrink tubing, you pop that on there and then you turn it on and it'll blow out hot air in a nice even like layer sort of thing and uh, you can uh, heat shrink it really well so and then there's this attachment that does like a small uh, little bit and it's got like a little nozzle um, and then uh, so you take that part off it's just a push fit on and then you get this piece on and uh, you also get a sponge pad and the sponge pad comes out and basically when your soldering iron uh, gets hot and you just want it to cool off or even just to clean it you have this in the little metal case and you just dab it on like either side of it um, and it also came with a whole new reel of solder and it hadn't been used so it was brand new apart from the it, I think it had been used once but only briefly because there was a tiny bit of a burn mark and then that was it so you pop this on and uh, that's got a catalyst inside which basically heats up without actual flames coming out. So you have this attachment which is a hot knife attachment so if you wanted to cut some me uh, plastic and it's a bit too tough um, just some scissors you can heat this up and it will cut it out nicely like uh, if you wanted to uh, cut some foam or something this would uh, do it really evenly so then we have a soldering bit which I've already used which is a really good uh, nib uh, flat sort of screwdriver almost shape and I think that's for doing like long parts of soldering um, like a slanted bit uh, another slanted bit oh no a smaller like screwdriver uh, flathead screwdriver thing and another slanted piece so it's really good and it gets up to 1300 degrees celsius 2,000 and 4, 2,443 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's really hot. Um, so it's actually really nice. So I am planning on when I have the money, I am going to buy some LEDs from uh, Ultra uh, Ult Ultra LEDs, um, and, uh, and my friend has some wire spare wiring, and I need to get some switches. I haven't looked for prices for switches yet, but. Oh, uh, we, we tried to repair this, it was an old doorbell and it didn't, uh, it stopped working. If I can get it off, where the battery goes, which is there, the piece underneath it, the which, which, which makes the contact, wasn't on properly and we basically just resoldered it on. But it's still not working, so, uh, there's a switch in there, uh, don't know whether you can see it, uh, there. So, I may try and get the solder off that and use that and there's loads and loads of these little tiny switches that all move up and down and that's for the different chimes that you could do with a doorbell so I am yet to take this part of the doorbell part and see what's inside there um, and lift this up to see if there's any components underneath so hopefully that will be fun I'll do that in a bit so I'll see you guys soon oh and there's a push down button uh, there So that's good. So yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully I'll be using this soon. I, I've already used it. My mum wants me to repair something. 
uh, one of her necklaces with the dot of solder so it won't come apart again so that'll be fun hopefully hopefully this switch is salvageable so i'll see you guys soon thanks bye